guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 13 of It Got To My Parade. Um, okay, before we get started, if you see anything, like the curtain fling in the background, I have the window open, so just in case, because I know it's going to be a distraction. It's going to happen a couple of times. But, yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. It's too hard to... I don't even remember what this episode is about because <laughs> it feels like forever. That's what it needs to be like today. It needs to be rainy today in Florida. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is the New Year's episode. Mm. That makes sense, because, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then they probably took a break last week? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it's for you to concentrate and get your center. Oh. 
Don't look down. Only these two would use something as this. <laughs> Yeah, your pure palette meeting? Oh, Miru Fashion Collection maybe. Oh, well, dang. Finally, she gets a form. I mean, geez. She was one of those, plus countless of others in Aikatsu overall. Coming into Aikatsu Parade that I have been waiting to see perform again for, like, forever. I just want to see... Who else besides the right? I think Sakura. Because I love Sakura songs. Sort of, eventually. If they could do an episode or something on her. Almost every girl, really, in my opinion. But I get the fact is, you can't, um predominantly have everybody in this series perform you have to have other girls outshine others like Eureka Eureka has been in the background having a talking moment but no singing yet hopefully um, by the way like her song I think in my opinion is the most underrated I've heard I think when it came out a lot of people talking about it and then the hype like kind of died down and then Mm -hmm. 
Are you? I really don't think she's going to be able to design her dress now. Like, it, it's probably going to take maybe, like, the majority of the whole episode until maybe, like, the last four, maybe five minutes. And then... Well, dang, can I see it? Mm -hmm. Was up to you? That too. Well, you know, I want to say something about that, and especially with the perfect thing. For every character in this series, there's a different meaning of being perfect, and whatever Rocky is going to find, that will be her meaning of perfect. <laughs> We've only seen her kind of like that. When she's around her mom. So no way in heck is that going to happen. <laughs> Even though we already saw her perform episodes ago, but it's okay. Oh my god, child. Oh, fine.
-hmm. And don't forget to take your time. You don't always need to rush. If you rush, you'll miss things. <laughs> and we can have them sing together. We can see that. <gasps> Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Kind of like, mm, you know what, I'm, I'm going to wait until we see it fully in 3D. Because seeing it in 2D and seeing it in 3D are like, oh, she's got wings too. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, now it looks more like um a Dolling Devil outfit. Yeah. A lot. Color-wise, um, the, the sheer, because it seems like that sheer or that lace on the black, the black part, the pink and purple, does it say purple? Yeah, but it's cute. Thank you. 
But it's close though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she's so pure. You gotta love her. But the dress was nice. Like I said, it gave me a lot of darling devil feels towards it. That and a little bit, a little bit of Mahiru's, um, couple of dresses, a little bit of Elsa's. It's like a couple of characters and brands all in one. It's a, it's cute. It's sexy. It's different from most shows. I mean, not most shows. Most dresses. But it's unique. Each and every dress that we've seen from my Katsu up till now has all been unique in their own special ways. And it's their perfect feelings, their emotions, their rawness, whatever, their factor, that je ne sais quoi, that perfectness that little feeling that they have it represents them the new song especially um for each character i would have assumed that rocky would have got a new song but i'm guessing what they're possibly going to do they're going to do the same things that they typically do um they're either going to wait until like episode 24 25 to bring the brand new song in the brand new opening the brand new ending and everything or they may wait a couple of more weeks maybe getting close to episode 20 and possibly giving us a new Rocky song because, I mean, I love this song. It's still a good behind song, but I think she needs to kind of move away from that song. Even though we're still on the first half of the show and we're not even towards the second half yet, but there's going to be a point where it's going to be like, I want that next song. Like, now. But it's a pretty dress. Well, finally, she's getting something. Okay, this is the one thing I'm going to say about the girl. Because I don't remember her name. The girl with the um, the blue and purplish hair and the hearts in her hair. I don't remember her name. I know she's the newest girl in the S4 um, group for the newest generation. Because, did she really? No, she didn't really. She had a vague speaking role in I Got Two Stars, but... Um, I just don't remember such, uh, much of it right now for some weird reason. But, um, what I'm kind of hoping for her as a character is that she gets something, a time to shine. Because to me, you know how, um, when I did reactions to I Cut Two Stars, but predominantly the second half of the series after watching, well, no, I would say the last four or five episodes of season one and then the second half to the end of the show. Um, my, uh... My biggest critic, critique, slash one, was about Kaharu. Kaharu was the one character that was always put in the back burner. She was always in the back while Yume and the rest of the girls always got to shine. So when we all found out that Kaharu was on Venus Arc for season two, I was like, oh snap. She's finally going to get, you know, her own song, her own um, design brand, the works, everything. She got it technically but then at the same time not really because she i mean in the end she is a designer for yume that's good i'm proud of her on that she really didn't want to go the idol route and i get that not every girl in this series wants to go down that idol route but it's like going down it it leads to better opportunities and that was one thing for her while for all the other girls they're either still going to be idols or they're going to do something more with the idol genre of it but I'm hoping that with this girl, she does get a 3DS um, CGI song. That's what I want for her. Um, if it doesn't happen, I, I'm not going to be a little pissed about it. I, I may be a little upset, but not like blow it over proportion, pissed off, don't want to talk about it anymore. But um, that's the one thing that I just hope because there's a lot of characters, like I said, even the characters that are um, who are very important in their respective shows that you just want them in this series that features i think probably what under a hundred girls maybe um you want everybody to get a time to shine and everyone to sing because 
it's like how when I did a reaction on um, Idol Master Cinderella Girls or even Idol Master, a little bit of Idol Master side in also as well, or really just the whole Idol Master series in general. There are some girls who um, got a and boys, you know, there were some boys. Uh, who got outshined and who got more character development than so many others. So if you play the game, um, like uh, Idol Master Million Lives, Cinderella Girl Starlight Stage, or Idol Master Side M, if you play those games, that is like predominantly the only time that whatever favorite character you specifically have, you're going to be able to learn about them. With this show, and because the fact is that they don't specifically have... They have a mobile game. Well, no. They used to have a mobile game, and it got terminated, I'm going to say, two years ago, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to go back and check. But when the day the, day the game... Um, the photo... I, I cut to photo of something. Um, got canceled and stuff. And that we were just predominantly going to be going on the anime. You lose that... Um, those informations and that character development of some characters because, like I said, some characters do outshine um, others and it really just sucks. So I'm just hoping it's the biggest, like, want that I want for this series overall until, you know, Bandai's like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna stop this show. Um, to just give more girls the character development. Yes, it is Rocky show, but you have all these girls in here from several different other series and you need to give them just as much screen time as if more or equal to Rocky. Get that. That's it. I mean, but I love how they're slowly every single week, they're getting they're getting more and more better for doing it. And I have to applaud them on that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 13 of A Cut to One Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. From the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys either, um, let's see, today is episodes, episode 13 was, episode 13 came out last week, I'm guessing. Um, so then, 14 should be out maybe next weekend. I gotta look on the freaking air date page for each episode, because I think this aired last week. It's weird how this one came out this week, but I'm not predominantly sure. So if 14 either comes out this weekend or next week, I don't know if I'll be able to film it um, ASAP because the fact is, like, I'm officially moving this week. I've already gotten some stuff over there and stuff, so it's just going to be hard. If you don't see anything out, maybe, like, by this weekend or whenever episode 14 comes out, just know that I will do it ASAP, just not at that time. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Thank you.